Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of Eve University, and this is an introduction to fleet broadcasts. In some player versus player fleets, and all incursion running fleets, you are going to have in the fleet uh, fleet mates who have high slot modules called either shield transporters or remote armor repair systems. And what these modules do, these high slot modules will spend capacitor energy to boost somebody else's shields or to repair somebody else's armor, depending upon which module that you have fit to, uh, to the ship. Right now I'm flying a Basilisk type Kaldari logistics ship, which has bonuses to shield transporters and energy transfers. So in large player versus player fleets or in incursion running fleets, when one member of the fleet gets targeted by the enemy, and starts getting pounded by all of the enemies at once, the logistics cruisers will, will target lock that one fleet mate and will try to keep that fleet mate alive by using their own capacitor to boost the shields or repair the armor. In a situation like this, any local repairs that you have are going to get rapidly overwhelmed. But if you have, say, two uh, two, three, four, five logistics cruisers in the fleet, they can bring uh, eight, uh, 12, 16, 20 sh battleship sized shields transporters to bear on you and try to prop you up through the damage, or 20 remote armor repair systems. The basilisks and scimitars will use shield transporters, the guardians and onieroses will use remote armor repair systems. That's Kaldari, Minmatar, Amar and Kalente, respectively. The problem is, when you are in a fleet, you do not, by default, know the shield health, uh, I'm sorry, the shield armor and structure levels of all your fleet mates. And conversely, they don't know your shield armor and structure levels. Unless they target lock you. But if it's a large fleet, more than 11 people, a logistics cruiser can't keep everybody target locked at the same time. So the logistics cruisers or the remote repair battleships won't know you're in trouble unless you use something called a fleet broadcast. So let me go to Neocom, fleet, and I need to be in a fleet even if it's just by myself, otherwise I can't show you the interface. Left click the menu icon, form fleet, so now I've formed a fleet by myself. When you are in a fleet, it will if you've joined the fleet for the first time, by default, it's going to look like this. All right, this is called the flat list mode. Many players will switch this to view as hierarchy because that's more useful. You can see the fleet structure, the fleet commander, wing commander, squad commander, all the squads and wings and whatnot. At the bottom of the window, when you're looking at the My Fleet tab or the History tab, you will have a line for broadcasts. You're also going to have an icon in the lower right corner, a double-headed arrow or a double chevron pointing upwards. Left-click on that to make it point down, and you will now see an entire row of buttons. In the lower right corner is a button for toggling who receives the broadcasts. Uh, four arrows is everyone, pointing down is my group, pointing up is superiors. For the types of broadcasts I'm going to be talking about in this video, you want this set to everyone. Because you want all of the logistics who are in your fleet to get that broadcast. And the buttons with the broadcasts themselves are over in the lower left corner. So spotted an enemy, need armor, need shield, need capacitor, in position, need backup, request the fleet hold position, at location. And the two particular ones here are Need Armor and Need Shield. So, let's suppose you were flying a shield tanked ship, and you had basilisks and scimitars in the fleet, or maybe shield transporter uh, battleship setups, and you needed shields. So, you would click this button, and everybody who's paying attention to the fleet window, the history tab, will see your name needs shield. And what they can do is control left-click the broadcast to target lock you. 
I can't demonstrate that here because I can't target lock myself, but if this were somebody else, so-and-so needs shield, I would be able to control left-click this broadcast to target lock them. Uh, at least by default, it's control left-click. You can change the shortcut for locking targets. So you click the appropriate button, and the broadcast shows up, and uh, the logistics cruisers will see that, know that you're in trouble, they will start target locking you from the broadcasts by control left clicking these things, and they will start the shield transporters or the armor repair systems going on you, and hopefully save you from exploding. It is possible to set up keyboard shortcuts for this, so you will go to the escape uh, you push the escape button, so this is the escape menu. Go to the shortcuts tab, the navigation sub-tab, and here you have broadcast need armor, broadcast need capacitor, broadcast need shield. Okay. You can right-click any given row and select edit shortcut, and just push a button to determine what's going to be your key binding for that. Personally, I use uh, number pad 7 for need armor, number pad 8 for need shield, number pad 9 for need capacitor. And I use number pad 4 for in position at. Some logistics pilots are going to request that if you're no longer being shot at, that you use broadcast uh, in position. That way they know they can stop, tar uh, they can unlock you so that they can lock up somebody else. Uh, a logistics pilot will typically have targeting 5, multitasking 3, which makes use of full use of their electronics. At multitasking 3, their skills allow 10 targets to be locked, and on a basilisk, I can lock 10, the electronics will support 10 targets. Even with, multi even with multitasking 5, <clears throat> and putting signal amplifiers in the low slots, your skills will li still limit you to 12 targets at once, so a logistics pilot can't possibly keep more than 12 people locked at the same time. So if they gotta lock a new person who's getting shot at, they've got to unlock somebody else. So with my keyboard shortcuts set up, I can left click once on the background to make sure the background has focus, and I can push number pad 7 on my keyboard for need armor or number pad 8 for need shield, or number pad 9 for need capacitor. Once you start getting yellow boxed, or once you start getting shot at, uh, depending upon what the situation is, you're going to want to use those broadcasts. That way the logistics cruisers know that you're in trouble, or your fellow remote repair battleships know that you're in trouble, and they start target locking you, and they get the repair modules going. Very important for fighting Sansha in incursions. Very useful for player versus player situations, although some player versus player fleets will follow what is called the Alpha Doctrine. And that's where the fleet commander will say, Alright, target the following enemy player. Alright, get ready to fire on my mark. Three, two, one, fire. And then 150 artillery fit maelstroms shoot you all at the same time. That's a very huge singular pulse of damage, which is going to destroy your ship, because unfortunately shield transporters and remote armor repair systems need time to operate, and if all the damage is hitting you all at once, you're gonna die. So that's how the Alpha Doctrine works in PvP. If that's what you're going up against, um, I suppose you could try broadcasting for shields or armor, but um, they may not necessarily be able to save you. Unless the alpha is very poorly coordinated. If that alpha strike is spread out over time, uh, it's not an alpha strike anymore, and then maybe logistics can keep you up. Additionally, you may not be facing alpha fleets all the time. <clears throat> Alright, so broadcasting for when you need armor or when you need shields is very important. Uh, the the particular usage in incursions and player versus player may differ slightly, so you may need to learn each situation separately. Oh, one other thing. The broadcasts, just to repeat, the broadcasts are very important because 
your fleet mates can target lock you by control left clicking the broadcast. If you're saying on voice comms, I need shields, I need shields, or I need armor, I need armor, help me. I and me are useless pronouns. Unless you've been flying with the same group of people for months who have learned to recognize your voice. Otherwise, they don't know your voice, they don't know who you are. Who's I? Who's me? We need a name. We need something we can control left click. Alright. If you're in a huge fleet of 200 pilots, even if you do state your name on voice comms, the logistics pilots would need to dig through the fleet hierarchy or through the flat list in order to find your name. And if this is a list 256 names long, that's going to take time. You may be dead before they can find you. So that's why the broadcasts are very important. They can target lock the broadcasts very quickly. Alright. So I hope this clears up the use of fleet broadcasts. In the meantime, thank you for watching.